Hello and welcome to this Haas Tip of the Day. If you've ever had questions about programming a metric or an inch tap on your mill, then today's tip is for you. Programming a tap should be easy, but sometimes it can be confusing. Today we're going to remove that confusion. You might be programming a metric tap, or you might be programming an inch tap. Today we're going to show you how to do both on a machine that is set up in metric mode. We've got setting 9, dimensioning, set to millimeters. If your machine is set to inch, then we've made a different video for you. We'll come back to this inch tap in a minute. Right now we're going to focus on programming our metric tap. Our G84 tapping cycle needs two critical pieces of information. First, it needs to know our RPM, our S value. And second, we need to know our G94 millimeter per minute feed rate. Now for this first example, we're going to use an M12 by 1.75 tap. The first piece of our puzzle is our RPM. We're going to use S500. Now for your real tap, you need to contact your tap supplier to find out what speed they recommend based on your tap style, the coating on your tap, and the material being cut. Now the second piece to our puzzle is our feed rate, our F value. For this, we need to put on our thinking caps. It's not too hard because we've got a formula. Now for a metric tap on a machine in metric mode, F equals pitch times RPM. Now pitch, what do we mean when we say pitch? No, not that kind of pitch. We're talking about the distance from one thread to the next. This is also the distance our z-axis needs to travel with each full revolution, also known as our lead. Now where do we get our pitch from? Well, lucky for me, it's actually written on my tap. M12 by 1.75. M12 is the basic diameter, and 1.75, 1.75 millimeters, is our pitch. Let's go ahead and fill in the formula. Pitch. 1.75 times RPM, which is 500. When we run that through a calculator, we're going to get a feed rate of F875. Let's go ahead and enter that into our program. I'm going to enter my RPM, S500, and my feed rate, F875 decimal place. Now you might have noticed that when we entered our S500, we did not put in an M3. The G84 cycle is going to start and stop the spindle as necessary. If we add an M3, it's just going to make the program take longer. Also, we used a G84 because we're using a right-hand tap. If you were going to cut a left-hand thread, we'd use a G74. You can look up G74 in the manual. Well, we've done it. We've programmed our metric tap. Now, we're going to program our inch tap. For this example, we're going to use a 1 half 13. Now, for this tap, we're going to use that same 500 RPM value. Now, we come to our feed rate, the hard part again. But, again, we've got a formula. This formula is going to work for an inch tap while our machine is in metric mode using a G94 millimeter per minute feed rate. Our formula is feed equals RPM divided by TPI times 25.4. Now this formula is going to work for all of your single start inch taps. We're talking about your cutting taps, your form taps, and even those NPT tapered pipe taps. Let's fill in our formula. 500 RPM divided by, but what is our TPI? Well, I'm lucky again, because it's written in the name of my tap. 1 half inch is the basic diameter, and 13 is the number of threads per inch, TPI. So we're going to enter 500 RPM divided by 13 threads per inch, times 
Now, where did the 25.4 come from? Our TPI is in inches, but my machine is in millimeters. The 25.4 converts those inches into millimeters. There are exactly 25.4 millimeters per inch. So by multiplying by 25.4, we've converted our formula into something the machine can use. Now when we run this through a calculator, we get a millimeter per minute feed rate of 976.923 millimeters. Now this is important. We rounded our number out to three decimal places because our machine can handle up to three decimal places. The further out we carry that number, the more accurate our threads are. Now this is my program for a half 13 tap in millimeter mode. I'm going to enter my RPM as S500. And my feed rate as F976.923. Let's go ahead and watch it run. We've got our 1 half 13 inch tap threading this hole at 500 RPMs and feeding at 976.923 millimeters. That feed rate and the RPM match perfectly to give us our 13 TPI. Well, we've done it. We've programmed both a metric and an inch tap using our G84 tapping cycle. Now, be sure to click on today's bonus content. We've created a tapping document that covers all the formulas we use today, as well as G95 feed per revolution tapping. We've also included links to videos that cover clearance planes, peck tapping, tapping faster with setting 130, and tapping in inch mode. Be sure to subscribe to these videos so you don't miss any of these tips as they're made. That's it, and thanks for watching this Haas Tip of the Day. Thank you.